new audience spectrum. So just to remind everybody, audience spectrum is a segmentation of the UK population, um, really based on their cultural habits and importantly, it's geolocatable. So we can see in which postcodes people with tendencies to do to have interest in different kinds of culture actually live. There are 10 segments altogether in audience spectrum. And originally we built the first version of, of audience spectrum, I think around about, I think we were launching it around about, about nearly, nearly eight, eight, nine years ago. So we've now decided with so much more data at our fingertips than we had in the first place to give it a really good refresh. So one of the things that we heard from all of our users is they wanted much greater granularity. If you're using audience spectrum in a very practical way, you'll know that actually it's really useful to have some differentiation, some, some more detail. So one of the reasons we, were, we have made these updates is on, on your request to provide some greater granularity. Secondly, um, we really noticed we work, we work with literally hundreds of organisations on the audience spectrum every year. And one of the things we discovered is that for some organisations in particular parts of the country or for particular kinds of uh, work, we'll find that they have you know, just one or two um, dominant segments and it's useful for them to have more um, detail uh, in, 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 uh, for, for, to help in their work. We also know that people are much more used to using um, segmentation in their work. Uh, it's much, become much more prevalent in the way that we develop audiences and uh, market culture in general. And so actually we wanted to have a tool that was um, more able to fit around your own segmentation as well. And I think there's lots of um, good new benefits uh, in the enhanced version of audience spectrum will help you to do that. And of course, there've been lots of changes in the environment, in particularly in audience behaviors. Obviously lots of that been quite COVID driven and, uh, and some of the changes that we've seen post COVID also have affected how we've built um, uh, some, some of the observations in the, in the segmentation. And of course, there's also been changes in what culture is available and so on. And um, we've also learned an awful lot over the past decade of using, using audience spectrum, particularly working really closely with organizations. So we've got a better idea now of how people really use it. And that's been uppermost in our minds if we thought about rebuilding. Yeah, um, I, there's a question from Joan Nankara here saying, what is granularity? I have to say it's one of those words that I overuse with great uh, enthusiasm, but it is a bit of a it's a bit of a buzzwordy jargon, isn't it? But granularity, in other words, there are more grains in it. So it just basically more detail. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, um, to keep keep us on 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 track, um, and yeah. So we've had we now sit on these amazing. We look after these amazing huge data sets now about audiences all over the country that we derive from a number of different ways from the Audience Finder program that some of you will be involved in. We have literally millions of records telling us what um, audiences do around the country, and we wanted to make sure we were folding back a lot of that intel and new knowledge into the enhanced version of audience spectrum so there's some of that in there as well we've also been doing we've got this millions of survey responses i think it is it is it is over a million survey responses to the audience finder survey question which tells us to think about things like motivations and so on so again a really big data set there and we wanted to make sure that all the value of that was folded back into audience spectrum too and we also have got some new, some interesting new data sets at our fingertips. So we've always used the Department for Culture, Media and Sports um, taking part survey as an important layer in the segmentation. But we've now got things like um, the Cultural Participation Monitor, which is the population survey we've been running since 2020. We now have a really important new source of data there, which is very much more about sort of how audiences are feeling about things right now. And the idea is that we can try and fold some of that more current information into audience spectrum too. Um, so obviously, if you're working with us, you can expect to be able to ask to um, use that extra layer. So, you know, we do work with lots of organisations in quite a hands on way as part of our bespoke consultancy and research work. So obviously, um, you will find the, uh, the, the uh, segments are all there and available to you when you are working with us. But you'll also find that they are now in Audience Find Answers. That's the free um, audience data tool. If you have any, uh, if you have ticketing data or you'd like to join our free survey, um, you can automatically be able to see your um, audience spectrum, uh, enhanced audience spectrum profiles in the audience find answers part of the application, which is the sort of, is the new bit. So it's not in the old graphs and charts, which are under audience find or original, but you've got, but it will be coming soon uh, to those parts of the, of the program as well. But if we can, if you'd like to have a look at that, we can you either do ask somebody in our audience finder team to take you through that, or if you have some questions, we can talk about that now. 
Um, there's a couple of very specific questions I see coming up on you about what you've just been talking about. We'll come back to those. So uh, just to finish off here, though, so yes, you will find it in Audience Find Answers. Um, it'll be in some more of the graphs and charts as time goes on over the next few months. You will also find it fully integrated. You can commission an area profile report. So if you want to look at the background population of your area, uh, you can commission that and you will now find that all the new subsegments are in that and um, there are a variety of different kinds of APRs there's a sort of very simple straightforward one about looks at your area just, an, just known as a, 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 an area profile report there's an area profile report plus which gives you um, quite a lot of access to more um, background data and then there are some specialist area profile reports which are looking at um, particular kinds of audiences uh, and in particular um, if you're trying to engage uh, non-engaging audiences basically so those are known as the the um, engagement uh, area profile reports so um, all the subsegments are all in there and that's a that's a really interesting tool if you want to understand better who lives in your area can i just um, throw in yes one of course thing just about the enhanced version of those is that they yep. have the um subsegment profile at the aggregate level for the area but then where it breaks down by very particular oh. local geography that's done at the top level okay Great, thank you. Um, uh, you can also know if you have a nice data set um, and it's not already in audience spectrum, uh, in audience finder rather, if you have a data set that you would like to have profiled, uh, we can profile that for you so you can understand much more about who your audience uh, overall is, who your audience for different kinds of product is, who your audience at certain times of the year are and so on. Uh, that profiling can prove super useful and Jonathan that helps us to get towards, okay great, so now what do I actually uh, do with that? Um, you will find it a, a layer in all our reporting. Ollie and his team make an awful lot of data and information uh, freely available, lots of very specific reports. We've been working a lot on, on um, you know, how attitudes and uh, engagement patterns are changing post-COVID, but also how people are responding to new kinds of offers and so on. Um, there's a very regular stream of new insights on our ev evidence as an insight part of our website. So you'll find the new enhanced audience spectrum groups giving out lots of more information about how they're responding to different things at the moment. And you'll also find lots of information, particularly the new resources and so on that we'll be putting out. Um, do please make sure that you are in, um, you know, look at our website, sign up to our newsletter. And, uh, and if you're in Audience Finder, very importantly, you'll find lots of new information coming out through the Audience Finder newsletters. I think I now move on. My last slide is... So um, that's what there's there already. And um, if, if you, many people already uh, tag their, um, all their databases on a regular, on an on a, um, ongoing basis with Audience Spectrum. Uh, at the moment, only the 10 prior profiles are available, but later on this, uh, in the autumn, you will be able to tag your database with the, with the all new subsegments as well. Um, there'll be a new mapping tool and dashboard within, um, well, within Audience Finder Answers, but actually that would be available to everybody to go and have a look at uh, audiences, um, uh, you know, a, a, at a map of, of different areas and, and who lives where. Um, there will be new insights based on the uh, these, these segments coming out in Audience Finder Answers as well, for those of you who are Audience Finder users. And as you said, there'll be lots of um, interesting uh, new stuff coming out in terms of research reports and so on. Importantly, we haven't updated some aspects of it because the new census data is going to become available later on this year. And we were really keen not to update things until we actually had that new census data. Oli, did you want to just mention that in particular? Yes, well, I also got to make a comment just about the insights, just to make yeah. sure for those who aren't familiar with Audience Finder Answers. So the insights are essentially it's the name for the particular thing you get, you know, a particular report or query or um, piece of analysis that's built into the system. So that's what those insights are. So if you've got your data, you can kind of say, show me the profile um, for this. Um, in terms of the census data, um, obviously that will be progressively coming out in, in, in a, you know, some bits faster than others. Um, but yes, the first bit of it should be relatively soon. Um, and so that'll allow us to update some of the um the data tables particularly. Yeah. And and so so as I said, do do please sign on to our communications if you want to um 